Okay. Sonic 8 Eco 74 signing in or logging in as you would say. And yes, I got my Sonic action figures. Um, necklaces and toys as well. Um, Sonic and the Black Knight as you can see there. Um, anyway, back to the DVDs. I have IT Crowd, versions 1 to 4, the IT Crowd, the comedy. I really like this because they really put a lot of effort into it. There's some people said they were running out of ideas um, for the fourth one. I didn't really much, didn't mind the episode. I wish they would continue with it though. But oh well, this is IT Crowd 1, 2, 1.0. Uh, 3.0 and 4.0 version. That's the one with the latest look. Um, this is what I was on about when I say Chris O'Dowd from IT Crowd, which is Roy on this side, I think. And um, Moss is good as well, I like him. But, and Jen as well, you know, because the legends together. I don't know if the golf is on this one. Maybe he is. They didn't tell us anyway. Richmond, yeah, he's there, he's there. Richmond, a legend in his own right. And I gotta be honest, I liked him better when he was a goth. He was so funny. Uh, 80 crowd. Uh, that. You gotta be 15 to watch these, so just keep them in mind. Um, this one, you gotta be 12. This one for you in the series. Uh, version 2.0 uh, yeah it's pretty good I like the comedy slapstick <laughs> Metal Gear Solid joke see it what does IT mean? IT means information technology anybody knows that in your face any place you two I thought you knew Moss Anyway, Roy tells them that it means that after, and he just says, he just fed up of knowing what it means. The information technology crowd. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, that's him, yeah. Information technology crowd version 3.0. It's just funny. I think, uh, Roy and Moss are the funniest though out of the both. Judge, yeah, she can be funny. I like the one episode where they actually look like the grandmothers in it and they win those t shirts. I laughed like hell on that series so much that I nearly grew up. I nearly was out of breath. A bit dizzy from laughing from it as well, which is cool. He is the. He is the boss, and he is the best one I've ever seen. You know, he's just as funny as the other one, but I think sometimes he can be. And this one I really like. It's got him with the music thing, and basically this is the information technology crowd version 4.0. It crowd, or IT crowd as you would call it. Um... Basically this is good, it's the Fusion 4 oil, I really liked it, I think this one deserves a good, a good 10 out of 10 for at least trying to be a good show, I give all of them a 10 out of 10, is it brilliant, um, and that's it, uh, signs, now moving on, this one is really freaking me out, Merle Gibson, he said it doesn't show him because he's shown all this with the signs. And, um, basically, it's about an alien invasion and they're hiding under the bunker all the way through the night. I basically love this film. I reckon that was the best of Mel Gibson. And he is a legend, sorry. But even if he is a bit of an idiot, um, I still like him for what he is. I still think he's a legend. Um, I like Mel Gibson. You gotta be 12 to watch this. No more under, no more under than 12, okay? So you gotta be 12 years old. Same with half of these, 15, 12, you know, and so on. Um, I won't get on to Scooby-Doo yet. Um, this one here is called G-Force. I really like it. It was one of my favorite 3D films made 
for so many years to come. Darwin is my favorite G4 character. He's the awesome one in it. He's the best. I like Darwin. He's a he's a real hero. I don't like what they did with this case. They could have put the Darwin in the front or something onto the disc, like. But oh well, I still think it's good of him to release it. So you know, better than nothing on the disc. And uh, um, I really like it. I shouldn't really um, talk too much about this in debt. It's that it's a really good G-Force movie. So it's pretty good. Now I want to Scooby do one and two. Scooby do we do? Where are you? I'm halfway down the loo. Pull and flush the toilet, and I'll come out just like a chocolate hero flame. Just kidding, all right, already. It's just a joke that someone came up with. Two packs, Scooby Doo and Scooby Doo 2. Really good live action films. I'm basically showing this case as well as the, you know, the actual DVDs, because I want you to know that this came in the pack. Go Scooby Doo the movie, really good, fantastic. I really thought they put a lot into this. Mala Lila does Shaggy. Matthew Lillard as Shaggy is really good. I really like the way they put him in it. And Catherine, is there something didn't he? Oh, I can't think. That one who plays Wellman in the live action movie was sweating as well. Uh, anyway, I like Scooby Doo. And I really thought it was good. Good of him to make the animation like that. Scooby Doo 2, I thought, was pretty much epicer than the. First, but I still like the first, you know, God, you know, so they both 10 out of 10 in my opinion, and it's really good. Um, uh, like this sort of dress up thing with Scooby, uh, it's really funny. It's parental guidance, so maybe some people may want to keep that in mind. Uh, Scooby Doo 2, oh, this is even better picture than the first one, Sim being frightened, uh, like that. Anyway, this is Sonic Fanboy. Sonic. Uh, sorry, Sonic Fanboy. I mean, Police of the Internet. Work that is Police Station or whatever they call it. Anyway, this is some. Um, uh, Sonic 8474 signing out. Sayonara. Muchas gracias.